Hello. Oh, I look crazy. I don't know what happened. My computer keeps making it die. So let me know if you can hear me. I had to log back on from my phone. Hi. I'm so sorry, you guys. That's annoying. Every single time I try to go on from my computer, it just keeps like booting me out. So I'm sorry about that. But I'm on my phone and this is the um, first time that I've ever done it from my phone. So let me get my let me get my wine. Let me see the mask. Okay. So this is the mask that we're using. It's from Soap and Glory. It's called De the Declog. What a peeling declog mask. You get like two little applications for $7.99. So it's not so it's not too bad. Is it dark? Let me see. I can move on to my bed. That's better. my messy messy room Ugh. is that better or no Ugh. oh there we go we're getting nice and cozy okay. is that better you guys let me know that's not a great angle Sheesh. okay we'll just have to deal with it hi my my hawaiian buddy my hawaiian friend sorry y'all if that's terrible i'm sorry My phone is much better. Okay, my computer, I don't know what's wrong with it. So when you're just popping in to say hi, I love, oh, I love you for being here, you guys. Thank you. Uh, I'm like, every time I come on, I start complaining. Look at this little drip right here. Wow. You know we're friends if I come on the internet looking like this. But at this point, I'm like, to the point that I just don't even care anymore. I'm like, I really just cannot care. Hi! How do you pronounce your name? Naya? That's how I would say it. Naya. You let me know if I'm right or wrong. But I always see you on TikTok. I, I appreciate you for watching. Okay, so we have our supplies. Once this dries, we're going to peel it off. And that's like the most satisfying part. I don't even know where I'm supposed to look over here. Because it's like my phone is like this. So I don't know. Okay. Uh, Connie's here. Hey, girl. How are you? We need to get our wine because this ain't... This ain't right without the wine. Hold on, what are we gonna do? I should have, I should have kept the kids up so they can help me. Hold on, I'll be right back. Here we go. Oh, there she is. Okay. Who have you guys been watching? I feel like there's so many influencers now that are in the Dollar Tree space that it's like so hard to keep up with who people are watching. Watching White Zinfandel, we're watching her. <laughs> um, but I feel like even like on Instagram, like when you talk about like bomb DIYs, I have seen Pretty and Flawed, yeah, I love her. I've always loved her. Um, but it's like some people you see like using the hashtag Dollar Tree community and like they're not even posting anything about Dollar Tree. But I'm just like maybe they just want to be a part of the Shy Town girl. I never heard of her. You should do cleaning videos with Dollar Tree products. I have been trying to talk. Let me know if it's too dark or not. But I've been trying to talk more about Dollar Tree the cleaning products because for the longest time I wasn't even using them. I was trying to go more all natural. And <laughs> with this COVID, I'm like, uh uh, we are not. No. Nope bleach i've been doing i don't even tell you what i've been doing <laughs> people are going to be like you can't people are really serious so i'm like i don't even tell you what i've been doing but i've been like bleaching everything thrifty tiffany nice she's been making videos for a while but there are and it's like it's hard to keep up you know it's like people are putting up like a crazy amount of like shopping videos and hauls it's like that's why I wanted to start doing more like the clean, like not cleaning, but like talking about the cleaning products and talking about food, things that I buy on the, like a regular basis because, oh, it ain't easy keeping up with it. How do you see what's like the chat is? Oh, there we go. Him asking my dad to take me. Okay, girl, you get, get your dad to take you. See, <laughs> it's better than asking to go somewhere expensive. Pour you a glass, Beth. I got you, girl. Come on over. We got our designated driver. My life's a hoot. How are you? Uh, turquoise kitten. I love you, too. 
What I have learned is to tell people not to mind my business so much. <laughs> I keep on seeing the sentence, mind the business that pays you. I'm like, that's the business I need to mind. But sometimes, sometimes I'm just being honest. Like, I do mind other people's business. Sometimes it's hard to stay out of the business. It's, it's easier said than done, you know? It's like, it's like an, I have to practice not minding other people's business. Because it takes away from your own business, honestly. Weightless, okay, what does it say? Weightless Windy. Okay, I never heard of it. See, I'm finding out new... Pookie's view. I actually think I did used to watch her. She's someone that's made videos for a long time too, right? She does good hauls. Uh, hi from the South. Hurricane Laura victim. Oh my gosh, I'm sending y'all so much love. It is so scary when I look at pictures and stuff that's happening there. Hopefully you guys are getting like the aid and everything that you need because it's crazy. I live in like Philadelphia, so like what would you call that? Northeast? I've never experienced, even like a hurricane, I guess you get a little bit of rain, you think it's a hurricane, but I've never experienced what happened down there, and I'm so sorry, I'm like, it's so sad to even think about. Hi Julie, hi there, I like your cooking tips, I'm gonna try to do, <laughs> my voice is so soothing, oh my god, I hate my voice, um, I am gonna try to do more cooking, which is, um, it, which is, yeah, I'm not that good of a cook, but I do cook out of necessity. Thrifting, see it. My, my main concern is this, when you make videos, it costs money, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I could go out and buy stuff, but the more stuff I buy, I really have to have a purpose for the stuff. If not, it becomes like this hoarding situation. And I think this past year, it's like gotten out of control where I would hoard Dollar Tree products and hoard things for a possible video. And I have to be like more intentional with the things that I'm buying because you I look in my basement and I have all this stuff that I didn't even use, but I had the intention to use it for a video. It's it's like such a thin line of like real life and then videos and like what is for real life and what is for videos. It's sometimes it gets hard to just say thrifting videos and then you don't have like a real purpose for the stuff if you know what I mean. Because it gets expensive y'all, like to go out and shop. Some people just like post about their normal everyday life when you're when your channel is literally about shopping, you basically spend all your profit. <laughs> and that's probably like the one thing that I have to learn is like a good balance. Oh, another Philly girl. Hey girl, I love all my Philly friends. Cooking out of necessity, that's so me, I know. <laughs> I've learned how to cook well because I like to eat, so I wanna have food that tastes good. But yeah, I, mm -mm. <laughs> I'd much rather have someone cook for me. Uh, better. I think I, I, Quincy, what's the matter? He's banging on the wall. Um, I totally agree with that because there are so many things that I've said in halls like less glitter, better fonts, and I swear they are listening. I swear they're listening because what like it probably costs them more money to put glitter on something than to not. Do you know what I mean? So I totally agree with that. I think they are listening. Yeah, I don't know where to put all the stuff. I, I put it in a closet and then I don't pull it out. It's like, and what's gonna happen is now Christmas stuff is gonna start coming out and I have stuff for Halloween and stuff for fall, things that I haven't even DIY'd or used and it, it's, it, it becomes hoarding. <laughs> and then uh, my husband was like, well, you should give it away. But if I give it away, then I have to pay for the shipping. So it's like, it just, it's like this never end, ending cycle of just shopping. Now, that's why I do like Pretty uh, pretty and Flawed, and I do like uh, Auntie Cuckoo, because they go and they share like the store without actually, well, they do buy some stuff, but I'm saying, like some of their videos are just like walking through the store. I really enjoy that concept because you don't have to buy, but it's like, you gotta buy, you gotta store, you gotta use it, and if not, you feel guilty. Yeah. Is that a channel, hey, to, Bright Saver, I think. Is that, am I saying that right? If you see my crafting closet, oh my gosh. How do you keep it organized? What do you do to organize your crafting closet? You always you have to have a system for your system. An organization system for your organization system. Everything you have cooked or snacks have been really good. Oh, thank you. 
I've been trying. That's why people are like, uh, let me see. I love your Dollar Tree. That's what a lot of people are like, I want to see Dollar Tree for 24 hours. And I'm like, when I do the videos, it's like, I'm not just going to go and just eat the frozen stuff. I want to come up with like real meals and not shit on the Dollar Tree. Because I see so many videos like that. They just full day of eating dollar store and like they're complaining the whole entire time I just think that's so rude and not not what I stand for so I'm saying if I do something I really want to make sure that I do it and do it do it well you know like yeah you can find stuff from the Dollar Tree it's rude to be like Dollar Tree food is not good then why did you eat it you know it's like you're just buying it just to talk mess I don't know weird these comments just keep going away this is so weird I craft, not a YouTuber. It's ridiculous too much stuff, oh I bet. I don't think you have to be a YouTuber to have like a lot of craft stuff because it accumulates. The more you craft, the more stuff you have. It's just like, it's just one of those things. Like you don't even have to create videos to have a whole craft selection. Laurel, thank you. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, don't believe you made all those meals from Dollar Tree. That was amazing. I was so proud of myself, y'all. I was like, and then if we can, we can talk about complaining, and then the video doesn't get views. I'm like, Argh! but that's what it's just the universe or God saying, just let it be. It's like, I have to stop complaining about it. It's becoming frustrating. It's like actually mess messing with my mental state. Like when you put out, when you work hard on a video, you do, you buy the food, you cook the food, you eat the food, you edit the video, you promote the video, and then it doesn't do well in views. You're like, <laughs> but that's that. That's the one thing that has been like bothering me the most. And then comparing it with other people, when I tell you that will kill your joy, that will put me in a whole bad mood for a whole. And that's what I've been trying to work on, not to compare myself or anything else with anyone else. Because it's like, I you have no control over it. Do you know what I mean? That's why I have been trying to do like an email list. I think that's one thing that I um, I think is important if you do create videos, is to create your own email list that's not on YouTube, that's not on Instagram, that's not on TikTok, that's your own. So then you can do a blast of like your own videos, your own content, like yourself, you know what I mean? Not leaving it up to a platform. Because I feel like once you're on YouTube for a long time, they kind of like push you to the back burner. Like you're no longer a priority. So, yes, <laughs> my venting, <sighs> that's what I was trying to think, maybe like different ways, you know what I mean, like just trying to figure out ways like that, that's all the stuff they don't want to talk about, let me see, all these comments pop away, I'm going to go back to Dollar Tree, I loved when you did the DIY, oh yes, that's going to be fun for Christmas time, I'm like, DIY wax melts are like the perfect gift, I'm excited to do those kind of um, videos. What kind of mask do you have on? Uh, I thought I brought the package up here. No, no I did. Oh, I guess I didn't. But it's um, it's like a peel. Did I didn't I bring the mask up here? No, but it's um, from Soap and Glory. It's like a a peeling mask. It's a deep it's the deep clog peeling mask. Hello, moms. How are you? You remind me of my cousin. Oh, we could be best friends then. Let's see, at first I didn't know you. <laughs> I do get red though. <laughs> I do. This could be this could be shocking. Why don't you collab? I do. I've done a lot of collabs. Like I've collabed with Pretty and Flawed, J Money DIY, uh, Chic on the Cheap. I only collab with people that I like. Like if I like you and I like your videos, then I collab with you. But I'm not that type of person that just wants to collab with people because I think it's going to like get me further. I just don't like that. I like to collab with people that I really enjoy. Please upload more what I eat. I'm definitely going to do those because you guys seem to really like those a lot. And I and I enjoyed coming up with the videos. They're just a lot to edit. But I'm definitely going to do more of those. Cool. See, and I've been I've been trying to like venture into new foods and stuff like that. So I'll have to show you guys what I've been eating. Since I'm a new subby, how long have you been on YouTube? Oh god, for a long time. <laughs> Too long. I think I started in what, 2015? Well, I started when Quincy was six months old. I was, well, I always tell the same story. I was, I always loved YouTube for a really long time. I watched like Joseph Candy and all the old school YouTubers. And I was so nervous to start. I just didn't feel like I had like 
enough stuff. I always thought you had to have like a makeup collection and all the like a huge closet. And that's when YouTube kind of was just like starting to go that way. So I always got super nervous and I didn't start. And then I was home with Quincy, my second, and I was just bored. I was a stay at home mom. I didn't have anything to do. And I just picked up this iPad. I had like this iPad mini and I was like, I'm going to start a channel. And I started it from then. <laughs> I just started. And I, I made an effort to talk about things that I could afford. And at the time we were super duper broke, had two kids. Uh, I was a stay at home mom, like literally no money, like at all. So I talked about the things that I knew and the things that I could and Dollar Tree just came from that. I would always talk about other things, just like it was like more mom related. But then when I started talking about Dollar Tree, it kind of like resonated with people. And then I went from there. But there was like tons of other people doing Dollar Tree content before me and I would watch them as well. That's when I started, it's been a long time. That's why I'm like, I have grinded. I have put in, you know, you see people come in and it's like, ugh. And, and you can't not, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things Like you can't get mad that they come in and they see what you're doing and then they do it better than you. Cause I think that that's what I tried to do. But it's like, then now it's like, they do it better than better and better than better. And then they grow three times, four times as fast. And that's kind of just how it is. That's why you gotta just stay in your own lane. So I don't keep on telling myself, Sarah, when it pops for you, baby, it's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, Jenna Marbles. I, well, I never watched her like years ago, but I started watching her recently. I liked her a lot more like after she matured and got into her relationship and everything like that. She was a little bit too much for me when she was like super crazy. Uh, I try to watch your videos. I appreciate that. Just end up staring. <laughs> oh, thank you. Don't even stare at me now, girl. This is a this is a look. This is a chic look. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to do more Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree, what you call it? Dollar Tree meals. Oh my! One day I'm gonna get. One day I'm gonna get a million. One day. And like one day I'm gonna get a million and one day I'm gonna get that Dollar Tree deal. <laughs> Those are the two things that I'm speaking into existence. But it's hard and that's what I always say. I don't know if I should start. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna start peeling it off. Um, like YouTube does not allow for grieving. YouTube does not allow for mental health issues. YouTube does not allow for you being down. You know, like the moment you become down and you can barely function as a human, <laughs> you're crying every day, like just like that type of thing, you know what I mean? Like the bad stuff, it's like you, you can't, like there's no days off, you can't miss an upload, they want you to be consistent, you have to be happy, you have to be putting out content, and sometimes you're just not in the right mental state. And then this past year, I was just, just not, not good, well it's probably been for like the past two years, since our friend died and then my mom passed, it was like I just have not been in the right mental space and that, well, some days I'm good, some days I'm not, you know, so it's kind of like that. It's like, YouTube, it doesn't care. It's like, they'll just leave you in the dust. <laughs> you know, if you're not having, if you're not buying big houses and having babies and all of those exciting things, that's what Dollar Tree wants you to do. I mean, not Dollar Tree, YouTube. I was thinking about doing monthly. That would be fun. Um, let's see. You're unique, and I feel like what it is. For you is for you. I I totally agree. I I feel like that's how I've gotten to where I am. Whatever, oh, whatever is for me will be. <laughs> A lot of YouTubers don't care to build relationships with their subs. Oh gosh, I know. I think that's why I think as I feel like I talk to you guys more than like anybody. Like, you know, I always try to answer DMs and like really know what's going on with you guys. They're like friends in my head. That's so why I'm like, I, never ha I don't have any friends, but I have you guys. I'll tell you what's happening in my life. Um, I literally just left this video, watched your first video, and then came back. <laughs> oh, girl, the progress content. Oh, I know, the progress. I'm, I literally filmed on an iPad. I was so awkward. My voice, and then if you go back and watch my old videos, uh, bef like while I still had my thyroid, my voice was so different. After I had my, half of my thyroid removed, it made my voice so much deeper that my voice is different. And I go back and I watch those old videos, I'm like, who is that person? I was still so insecure and a, a lot of sh stuff was happening then too. I wasn't secure in my own self. Let me drink this wine so I can take this mask off. Ooh. 
Y'all, I'm gonna be sleeping good, good. Uh, your thyroid video made me realize I need, oh gosh, if anything, y'all, one thing I can say to you guys, check your thyroid, especially if you are a mom, if you've given birth, they say that after you give birth, your thyroid can change, and like that's one of the biggest times for it to change and for you to start having issues. Check your thyroid. Go into the mirror, do like that swallowing thing so you can see, and if you see a lump in there, y'all, go to the doctor, because it's nothing to play with. You guys saved my life. I didn't even know I had anything wrong. I didn't even know I had anything wrong until I started making videos. And my husband used to be like, they're just talking, they're just being haters, like there's nothing wrong with you. And then I kept on saying, B, I think there's something wrong. I see something there. And then I went to the doctors. I didn't even know anything was wrong. So you Nella, remember? Even Nella, I always tell Nella, Nella, I'm looking at Nella, my friend Nella, I'm always looking at her neck. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Even having the slightest of your thyroid levels being off it can affect so many things like your hair your skin your sex drive your appetite your weight loss your weight gain it doesn't even need to be the point where you have hypo or hyper even if it's off the slightest bit you'll see these effects starting to happen in your body all done okay let's take this mask off y'all Ooh, the most satisfying part <laughs> oh, do I see anything? No, I don't see anything. Okay. Yes, girl, definitely scary. I know. Life, life is crazy. Once you get older, like, things are changing in me that I didn't even know would change. <laughs> I don't even talk. I'm like, oh, okay. That's why I like this mask because it comes off in just one big piece. Oh. That is like the most satisfying thing ever, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what have you guys been doing to cope with back to school, to pre prepare for back to school? Have you set up any systems? Have you, what have you been doing? Help me out. Give me your give me your best tips now. You started early. Okay, I like that idea. I definitely think I was more prepared this year. I think starting early is one thing that you have to do. You know what I mean? Like, you don't realize how much harder you make it for yourself when you wait to the last minute. Okay, this part's not really dry, but we're going to take her off because we're over her. I can't, even, I can't even tell if oh see someone see your mom had your th her thyroid removed it's so scary i'm late how hectic was everyone's first day back to school oh my gosh it wasn't even that hectic oh my gosh let me tell you about these little kindergartners okay so quincy is six he's an old six he turned six in may i kept on saying oh i'm gonna wait for him to go to school you know it's my last kid i didn't really want to let him go i was kind of being selfish but also i just knew with Bobby, we had like a terrible kindergarten experience, like really traumatizing. <laughs> and we have the same exact teacher this year. So anyway, so I told, I said to myself, okay, we're gonna wait to put kind Quincy into kindergarten until he's six. I worked with him at home. I tried to teach him as much as I could. So then all this stuff happened and they're not going to school. I said, okay. Then he logs in to his class today. You like, I'm like, Quincy is going to be so ahead because there was kids, like, there's some kids that are, like, young fives, you know what I mean? Like, maybe just turn fives. And that's a big difference when you're talking about five and six. So, the parents sit on the, um, on the Zoom with the kids. So, I'm just sitting there watching Quincy and the teacher spelled his name wrong. <laughs> and he unmuted himself and he said, you spelled my name wrong. There's no E in Quincy. I said, okay, Quincy, you're going to be okay. There ain't nothing to worry about. We got this. 
it's scary, you know? You think your kid is, you never know if your kid is like behind or ahead or what. And I'm like, the moment that he corrected the way the teacher spelled his name, I was like, all right, we're good. <laughs> uh, let me see, my kids are going in, but I set a budget, wrote out a list and organized fall and winter clothes and we're ready to roll. That's amazing. Yeah, setting a budget is probably good too. It's like the stuff can become so out of hand when you buy this, you buy that. You think that you need to buy everything right away. Why doesn't this stay up? It's like, every time I look, it doesn't stay up, it just keeps going down. Uh, so Anna said, I work at a school. We have some students in school. Why, why, oh my gosh. Is that, is that common? Some kids, so they gave them a choice. So I saw Lindsay, um, Lindsay's life and style her daughter started kindergarten and I guess the school gave them an option but then what happened was the people that chose to stay home the teachers stopped doing zoom zoom lessons and all that kind of stuff I was like I thought you had to go to school like be taught for a certain amount of time per day and then they just give them packets to do with the kids I'm like how is that okay like I feel like if you give them the option to either stay home or go into school, like you should have to provide some type of taught lesson because especially for kindergarten, how do you know what you're supposed to teach them? Yeah, they had a choice. I can't believe he, <laughs> I was like, good job, Quince. Some people do. I, I know um, some people spell his name with an E, but I never saw him spell that. We don't spell it with an E. But he's like, oh, there's no E. She said, okay, we'll fix that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, little cutie. He was so ready because they also read a book, and they were like, was anybody nervous to come to school? Quincy was like, well, I'm not going to raise my hand, Mom, because I wasn't nervous. I was like, I know you weren't ner nervous. You wanted to get away from me. But they do a good job teaching. I know, like, please, I give teachers all the props in the world because I couldn't imagine like you go to school you're for how many years four years five years however long you go to college to become a teacher you pay so much money in student debt just to teach from home you know and especially with our school they're not even letting teachers go into the classroom they had to like set up classrooms in their houses some of the teachers have their own kids that are doing learning from the school at home so it's like i'm sure these teachers have not predicted this to happen so it's like hey i'll give you all the grace in the world because i know this is not what you want they much rather have their students and and bobby let me tell you about my little bobby he had the nerve to have himself his camera off oh my me and bigby were like you better put that camera on that is a sign of disrespect how disrespectful you have the whole class like cameras off i'm like no sorry bob we will not be doing that you better put a smile on your face and act excited to be here so rude i see those tiktoks all the time like professors will be teaching a whole college class and all the cameras will be off like what i think you better put your camera back on sorry y'all i need to see i still got pink stuff all over my face okay she is uh looking mask chic all these little bits still on here It's not courteous at all. It's rude. It's super rude to do that. Oh, so you were already teaching from home from 2017. See, so you were prepared. You were ready. Um, I'm. I've been attending my son's weekly school Zoom meetings. I have received. I. I have realized that there's a lot of teachers are in the same boat we're in. Yeah, I, I totally think that we're all, that's why I'm like, even if we can help single moms, people, like grandparents, I'm in Philly, grandparents are raising a lot of these kids, a lot of these kids have, have hard lives, it's like, we're not, I'm, we're not in like, Wizard of Oz land, foggy London town is what I like to call it, where everything is okay, and people are staying home, and their home lives are okay, you know, I'm in a city where people are literally struggling just to provide meals for their kids. To, on a day-to-day -day basis so you know we need to be really aware of other people so that's what i'm trying i'm like i'm in a good situation i'm in 
the best situation. Not, I'm not in a good situation. I wish I was in a better situation, but I mean, financially, you know, but I'm in a decent situation where I can be here with my kids. It's not taking away from a job or, you know, we have food in the fridge. We have a place for them to learn. And I used to always hate our basement, but it's like, you have to deal with those kind of things. We have it. We're going to utilize it. We're not going to complain because there are literal kids that are probably suffering out there being stuck and not being able to go into school. It's sad to think about. It makes you want to cry when you think about what's going on in some of these houses. Dennis is in Hawaii. Dennis is living living the life in Hawaii, our, our Hawaiian friends. <laughs> oh, I wish. Could you imagine? He's going to host us there one day. We'll have a sensational finds meetup at Dennis Hawaii's place in, in Hawaii. <laughs> That sounds fantastic. Uh, did you see the two kids went to Taco Bell to get Y? Oh no, I didn't see that. That's so sad. See? That's my, your Wi-Fi can't get cut off. You gotta have your phone or whatever, you know, whatever you're using. It's good to have things in perspective. I'm glad you do the Dollar Tree meals and hauls because we're in, yeah, we're in a situation. I, I just feel like that's the truth. It's like, I think that's the best part about living in, I always like I always say this about living in the city because you like live on the I live on the internet where everybody's bragging about what they have and they trade in car after car after car I've seen so many people buy houses like literal brand new houses and then rip out an entire kitchen it's a brand new kitchen it's a brand new house I have seen them rich rip out the kitchen to redo it and I'm like well, I don't understand it, you know, I don't understand. But then I go outside my door, I see people begging in the hot sun for money every single day, day in, day out. So it's like, I feel like living in the city keeps perspective it's good for me. <laughs> like, I don't want to live in YouTube world, you know, it's just not good. Hi friend, how are you? Mercedes, glad to be here. Love your videos. I love you, girl. Thank you for being here. I love watching your videos since January. Okay, friend. What other lady? Let's talk. Let's, I, I want all the gossip. Tell me who you used to watch. I'll tell you if I watched them too. Oh, I want to talk about that. Did you see it? Yeah, Keeping Up Kardashians, their final season. I'm like, I think you guys have milked it long enough. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the black community, we've had enough, thank you, okay? Go away. I'm so, I, I, I do not, I don't, I'm sorry, this may be unpopular opinion, I do not like the Kardashians at all. I don't like the hustle, but I just don't like them at all. Okay, Felicia Wilson, 80, we were born, if her year is 85, then we were born the same year. And you know I'm adopted. She might be a she might be a family member of mine, a long lost family member. <laughs> Keeping up with the Joneses here. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Everybody got to get the same Kardashian booty. They all got it. God, come on. Oh, oh so gross. Um, okay, Mercedes. We're still waiting to see who you used to watch. Who you stopped watching? You gotta you gotta give you gotta give dirt, girl. Uh, just joined in and I completely agree with you Karen Philly. Yeah, it's sad. It's like so sad You know what I mean? It's sad and I try to help and give money where I can but it's like You live in two different worlds, you know, like I live in two very different worlds uh, I went to Philly like a month ago. It's different. <laughs> it's a different world. Yeah, it's a different Like you go with the K, K and A like Kensington oh my god Ugh. it's like so sad it's like they don't even talk about it they don't even say it's like it's literally another world it's another world it's like I live in my area where you know you do see like homeless people and stuff like that you go down there it's, they're operating on another hemisphere you know it's like their literal own world but that's the one good thing about Philly is people just get it done however they have to. You know, it's not like they just sit and wait around for somebody to come and help them. Like, if they need to go out and get it, they will go out and get it. And that's one thing that it's taught me, not to depend on anybody. To do it my own self. And I like that. Um, let me see. So we're going to look up my twin. 
I'm gonna find her. Dennis is not a fan of the Kardashians either. I liked Chloe. And, oh yeah, I liked Chloe too until she started photoshopping her face. What happened? I was like, she used too much Facetune. I just, I have no problem with Facetune. I'm like, girl, do the Facetune. But when I, it's like, you're so beautiful, you don't even need to do Facetune. Why? I think it's insecurity, you know? So hopefully she can heal from that, but I feel like these celebrities get put on this pedestal that they don't even deserve, you know? It's like this fake, this false idol nonsense, and I'm not a big fan of them at all. Yeah, too much money, too much insecurity. I definitely agree. Money does not buy security. Money does not buy confidence. You know, you might be driving in the nicest car, but be the most insecure person. And you can see. Somebody that has confidence can see that you're insecure. <laughs> she lost weight and got totally... Yeah, but what happened to her? Like, her face on the show looks normal. And then you look at her face in pictures and it's completely different. And then to take Tristan back. Are you dumb? Like, are you are you dumb? Like, does she have no friends? If like, And then they just allow him back. If that was my friend and you tried to bring that cheating creep around, I'd be like... No, he's not hanging out with us. No, 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 no. What are y'all doing? But I always call it Holly weird. They're into some weird stuff. In I mean Hollywood, like celebrities and stuff. I'm sure there's very normal people in L.A. Did you see? I don't, I don't want to talk about this. I don't know if this is good too. But Odell Beckham, I was watching some, an interview about Odell Beckham. These people are into some weird stuff. Like, I just want to stay over here in my normal Dollar Tree land. They probably don't even understand Dollar Tree world. I like what is this why do people talk about Dollar Tree and I'm like why do you all date each other I don't even understand that I can't like they literally all date each other now Sophia or what was, what's her name Sophie Sophia I forget what her name is that Richie girl she's dating what's his name what's his name Willow Willow Smith's uh, brother I guess they all mess around with each other I just couldn't I'm too jealous for that <laughs> yeah, Odell Beckham. My kids, I think they like him because they always talk about him. Jaden, yeah, Jaden. They were like holding hands on the beach and being all close. I'm like, I'm not. I'm so psycho that I can't. I can't. I'm like, if if we've dated, you better stay away. We're done. Don't mess her. No, don't go near him. Yeah, weird. Sell, selling your soul exactly. That's what I was thinking about this OnlyFans thing. I see so many girls on OnlyFans. So many girls, oh, I made $15,000 on OnlyFans. I'm like, but listen, you do what you want, but you better realize that you're selling your soul. When you start doing stuff like that, it takes a toll on your soul. It takes the joy out your eyes. You know what I mean? Hey, we all have done things for money. You know what I mean? But people are like oh it's so easy just join OnlyFans oh just do it it's like no don't just do it really think about it. is that something that you want like is that something that you want attached to your name is that something that you want for your future they make it so so accessible to people now but it's like really is that something that you want on your conscience hey if you do do it I don't care I really don't care at all but I hate the fact that they, these people make these videos like I made this amount of much money on OnlyFans. Oh, just do it. Just do it. It's like, okay, yeah, just do it. But then you have to live with the, per the repercussions of showing all your goodies on OnlyFans. And it might be 20 years from now. We don't know. That's the part that kills me. Or the people that exploit their families for views on YouTube. Now everybody's looking at your family like you're crazy. The Ace family. Oh, my God. What? They used to be wholesome and normal. And then they went like far to the left and I'm like I don't it's just I just don't even understand it I could talk about celebrities and all this stuff all day we could talk about something different if y'all <laughs> uh, Nancy I hope I'm saying that right Nancy 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 I hope I'm saying that right thank you girl she said uh, I loved your Dollar Tree meal video I really appreciate that sometimes YouTube does it like doesn't like ridiculous content oh yeah I think that they they're really taking a hit uh, financially yep Nezzy okay got you, got you girl uh, let me see all 
all money <laughs> ain't good money. I know that took me a long time to learn. You know, you think when you're young, you just think about money. You know what I mean? I, it took me a long time. Thank God, you know, the internet wasn't around. I, I am in, I'm in my mid thirties. You know, you see somebody just coming up 18, and you're thinking, oh, it's just money, blah, blah, blah. You're doing that. You know what I mean? All money is not good money. And all, money comes with consequences, you know? You try to finesse guys and do all this stuff. And you think, oh, it all, like, it's just, it's not worth it sometimes. Sometimes it's okay just to take a back seat and be broke for a minute and earn the money in a, I mean, like, not even, I wouldn't even say respectable. I mean, like, in a hustler way, like, really work for it, you know, rather than take handouts that's just my opinion because I think that comes with life <laughs> life lesson <laughs> you get done dirty too many times here you, you have to live with that guilt on your shoulders you're like was it even really worth it you're like nah <laughs> but I think that's what made us lucky when we're older we didn't have the internet like like you know what I mean like the threat of the internet on your back you know you would do something stupid or immature or something that you weren't proud of and you didn't have the entire internet watching it you know so yeah the fast what's the faster you get money the faster you lose it slow and steady <laughs> that's what they said they said it's easy to make money it's hard to keep it or it's hard to like sustain having money like it's easy to get the money it's like after you get the money how are you going to keep the money that's i don't know about that <laughs> when i get the money y'all i'll let you know I have yet to get the money. I got to get the money first to let y'all know. Uh, so we already had dinner here. It's like almost nine o'clock at night. So we had, we just got one of those like roaster chickens from the grocery store. Actually, B made dinner. He never cooks them. He had rice and broccoli and biscuit. So that's what we have for dinner. What you guys have? Don't forget to look up Felicia Wilson. I got it. Felicia Wilson. I don't have my phone in here, but I, oh, I'm on my phone. I'm on my phone. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Oh my god. I will look it up. Felicia Wilson underscore 85. I remember. 85 is my year. What'd you have for dinner, Dennis? Jillian said, I always lived by the rule, the on only by what you can maintain. That's a good rule to follow. It is. Because if not, then you're always trying to keep up. That was my biggest issue. Oh, breakfast for dinner. That's one of my favorite things. And like, if you don't have a lot of time or you don't feel like being bothered, breakfast for dinner is like perfect. And the kids love it. Anytime, anytime we have breakfast for dinner, my kids feel like we're doing something like daring. So <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Oh, I'm uncomfortable in my bed, you guys. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to go. This was really fun. Like, y'all come in and hang out with me just made my heart really, really happy. So I want to say thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I am going to try to do it monthly, okay? Don't hold me to it. You know, I'm not very good at, uh, oh, car what, what makes it carbonara? I, I think I'm not saying that right. Don't mind my, <laughs> my pronunciation. What makes it that? Is that because it has bacon in it? Thank you, girl. I got the, it's the whole set from Target. And you know, do it on the dime. She has the same set. I said, see, your best friends do it on the dime. Oh, chicken pot pie. Did you make it homemade? Oh, simple with dimples. She has the same comforter set. See, anyone that has the same, we could be best friends. It's actually not that big. It's lightweight. The comforter is lightweight. It's good for summer. I thought it was going to be too heavy because we don't have air conditioning back here in my bedroom, but it's actually not too bad. cheese the oh what is okay so it's alfredo bacon and peas i never had that i've never had that before i need to have that next time i go somewhere um let me see cheesy cauliflower oh that sounds good what's the rice cauliflower i've been loving cauliflower rice you can't even tell that it's like not regular rice it's like crunchy you know that's a Dollar Tree idea for you. Ooh, to make it. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of the um, the cauliflower rice from Dollar Tree. Like, I might have to, like, kind of, like, shave it down some more. Because normally when I get the one from, I think it's called, like, Green Giant. It's, like, real small. You know, like, the little bits of cauliflower. The one that was from Dollar Tree, it was, like, much thicker bits of cauliflower. So, I'm 
Trader Joe's cauliflower rice. Hold on, I'm missing everything because I can't see anything. I don't know if they have, oh no, they have turkey bacon. I hate turkey bacon. <laughs> so gross. I thought I liked it, but then I tried it and I'm like, this is terrible. I'd rather just eat regular bacon. And you guys know I always say I don't eat pork, but I eat bacon. So it's like, nothing beats real bacon. Nothing. I love your channel. I always look forward to your intro. I hope everyone's doing amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was like one day we just started saying it, and then I think that's any good saying, you know? Like you start saying it, and then you just don't stop saying it. You know what I mean? I think that's like also what makes a good inside joke. It's like you don't really know how it started, but when your friends just start saying it, that's a good inside joke. you guys any last comments questions or concerns you let me know what makes it uncured when you talk about bacon because I always see like um, Whole Foods will have that Trader Joe's like more of like those kind of places have uncured and I also think that on this pizza that I get from a restaurant around here they have uncured bacon and uh, not bacon uncured pepperoni and it makes it taste a lot better so what makes it uncured my mask particles <laughs> uh, made with chicken and veg what? Let me made with chicken and vegetables and put biscuits on top bake in the oven that's is that for your um chicken pot pie that sounds fantastic curing can be done with smoke or salt does it make it like kind of crunchy okay so not cured not cured with sodium nitrates so that's the stuff that's bad for you right i guess they say don't eat too much of that yeah i i i, I need to pay more attention to that kind of stuff the, the food stuff but i thought oh i wanted to tell you this i i always say the word wrong audi or audi however you guys say it audi audi i think i say audi and i say audi however you say it so I got two steaks from Whole Foods and two steaks from Aldi or Audi. And they were the exact same steak. I think it was like, it wasn't T-bone, but it was like, it was like a good steak. I think it was $15 for the two steaks at Aldi or Audi, whatever it's called. And then it was $30 from the steak from Whole Foods. Okay, so I cooked them two different days, but the same exact way. The one from Whole Foods tasted like a bajillion times better but I'm thinking this I used to love Aldi and I got great deals there but I think that they're putting bad food in the stores that are in the city if you live in the city you let me know because I have not shopped at Aldi or Audi however you say it in a long time and then I shopped there and it was terrible like the meat was like horrible like so bad like didn't even taste good it tasted like it was bad meat and I'm thinking maybe because I went like a little bit further down, I was shocked. I was I was shocked and appalled. I said, "Oh my gosh!" I used to eat their their meat all the time, and then I stopped because it wasn't. It's not like super close to my house anymore. There's a shop right right by my house, so I just go there. But their meat was terrible. It tasted bad, so bad. And then their produce was bad too. All their fruits and vegetables were like rotting super fast. Like it would be in the fridge. And then they would have like little hairs on them, like a day or two later. I, Big B told me that he thinks it's because it's like more towards the city. But I don't know about that. I was very shocked. I'm gonna give them one more chance because I was I love like their like their frozen foods, like their um, what are they called? Hash browns, like they come in like that size. Oh, I was I was upset about that. I said, yo, I used to talk. So, I'm like, I think a save a lot tastes better than. It. <laughs> <laughs> this Audi's trip that I had, it was so bad. But they go bad. Oh, but they go bad fast. It's kind of like a produce junction. If you have a produce junction near you, like their fruit is like really in a, like inexpensive, but it goes bad really fast. Oh, you do you return it? See, I'm so nervous. I'm like a nervous person. I would never be able to do that. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I get nervous at stuff like that. Like awkward. 
I just like throw it out and it's such, it, it was such a waste. I was like, thought, I thought I was saving money, you know? Because I did, I did, well, I love the Whole Foods delivery that they do with Amazon. They just deliver it, like I order it the night before, the next day it'll be like right on my doorstep and I like doing that. But it's so expensive. So I wasn't gonna do like all of my grocery shopping. So I thought, oh, I'm just gonna get a great deal and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the things that I like to get from Whole Foods and have it delivered and then I'll go and get the rest of the stuff from Aldi. I wasted more money because I ended up having to go back grocery shopping. Have you tried Lidl? Lidl, is that the name of it? Because it's like an Aldi, right? But it's a different store. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try that before I cut it out completely. But they had me upset. I was gonna do a video about it because the, the stuff was that bad. It was that bad, I was surprised. Oh, their meat sucks. Oh my gosh, I see all these grocery hauls. Everybody's doing grocery hauls for Aldi. And I'm thinking, was it just me? No. I think it's a good place to buy items for your pantry. Yeah, like their rice. I love their rice. I like I like some of their frozen stuff too. Like there are frozen things that I like. But yeah, you, I think you really have to be careful. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to go back there. I used to shop. If you guys go back and watch like previous grocery hauls, I used to always shop there. But it was very, it was like super close to my house too. So that was the thing. I always kind of go where it's convenient. I don't like to travel too far. I didn't have luck at all either. But they have like so many good things, like sunflower seeds. I got like roasted sunflower seeds from there. Like, what is the word? Like sometimes like they're seasonal items. Like they come out with like these like like seasonal things, like food items. Sometimes some of those things can be really good, like their chocolates and like desserts. But like their meat, their vegetables, their produce, their milk. Like their milk went bad too. We had it in the fridge and it was like it wasn't even the expiration date. The milk got lumpy. Oh my god, I'm thinking about now I'm getting bad. I'm like, yeah, that happened. Terrible. Okay. Huh. Yeah, Lidl is owned by the same. And I thought it was the same as Trader Joe's. That's the thing. They say that Aldi, however you say it, and Trader Joe's are owned by the same people. Or am I making that up? Is that a lie? Yeah, their stuff goes bad quick. So do you buy? Like, is it worth it? That's what I can't realize. Is it worth it to buy something that's gonna go bad really quick for a cheap price, or to buy to pay more and have it last longer? Hey Raquel, how are you? We're just over here just complaining about Aldi or Aldi, whatever it's called, and their yeah, their milk was lumpy. Well, actually, I feel bad. Little, I feel bad because little B, I gave him the milk the day before, and he was like. It doesn't taste right and I thought the milk was fine it wasn't even it wasn't even close to being expired and I'm like it's fine well if you don't want it just throw it out I was like stop being wasteful you know what I mean so he threw out the milk and the cereal and then the next day his dad went to go get him cereal for breakfast and the milk was like lumpy and I was like what the heck is going on y'all you're trying to poison us do not do that <laughs> do not do that please do not do that yeah, they're, uh, they're owned, I think that's what happened. Like they were owned by brothers and then the one, um, the people for like, one company wanted to sell cigarettes and the other one didn't. So then they split ways and one became Trader Joe's and one became Aldi, that's what I heard. But anyway, all right, you guys, all right, you guys, you guys, I'm gonna go, I've been on for a little bit. Thank you, I wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We have our mask remnants here. Maybe we'll come back and we'll do the little eye patches another day. But I love you guys. I hope you're all doing amazing. And I'll see you guys next time for hopefully a video. We'll be back with a video super soon. All right, you guys, I can't really see the chat. It was nice chatting with you friends. Have a good night. Bye, Tiffany. Bye, Simple with Dimples. I'll see y'all next time, okay? Follow me on Instagram. I'm, all the way, I'm always over there, okay? So follow me there, and I don't know how to X out of here. So this is about to be awkward, let me say. All right, bye, you guys.